guys, what's up? It's mcguy1234, and I have a scratch video for you. So, in this scratch tutorial, we're going to be making a scary maze game. So, it's going to be a maze game, and you use your mouse to control the player. So, first off, let's go ahead and name this scary maze game. So, let's start off with our player's look. So, we're going to go ahead and just clear this. Switch it to bitmap. We're gonna take this and we're gonna use a good orange, just that one. And you don't need to press shift, but you can, I am. And we're just gonna fill that in. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a yellow and you're gonna go like this, make your eyes. And then you're just gonna do it again. It doesn't have to be exact, it looks better when it's not exact. So I'm not gonna do this the whole way. Either. Gonna go like that, and then you're gonna go ahead and just take this paint bucket, put it there, and that's it, guys. So now we want to make them a lot smaller, as you might think. So we're gonna make them like that, just about that size. So we're gonna go ahead and just X out this costume and center this guy, look right there where you think the nose would be, and then we're gonna go to script, and we're gonna say when flat clicked. First thing, forever, always, always, always go to the mouse pointer. So now when we hit that, it's always going to be at the mouse pointer. So now that we have that down, um, let's go ahead and get into some coding. So we're going to create another sprite, and this guy's going to be a background. And let's go ahead and start with the first level. So it's going to be just like this. And like that I'm gonna make another one right here and at the end I was sort of thinking though let's make a portal so we're gonna use this let's make it a dark green yeah and go like that oops we don't want it to be <clears throat> we don't want it to be filled we just want the outline so we're gonna go ahead and just do that and we're gonna zoom in. And we're gonna take this, make this as small as possible. And we're gonna go ahead and just do like that. Just a little like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And just like a spiral. So it looks a tiny bit like a portal. And at the end, we're just gonna go like this and cover that. And then we're gonna use the outside color, which was this, and we're just gonna fill it in. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Uh, we're gonna take this color and put that right there, which so it's like that. And then we're gonna do that, because otherwise it looks a little bit odd. Yeah, like that, it looks nice. Um, we're gonna go ahead, just, this guy's already centered, and we're gonna and flag clicked forever go to zero zero so it's sort of like the background except it's a sprite so it's just gonna be like that okay so now that we have that down we're gonna create a variable and it's gonna be called game so when it's when we start up the game yeah, let's go and stop this we're gonna set it to main menu okay and we're gonna create a play button. So we just I'm just gonna make a um, a gray golden box like that. Don't make it shift. I'm gonna type in in block letters. Okay. And let's use a different box. Use marker. Yeah. Just make that that big. So it looks nice right there. Now we're going to go ahead and make this guy a little bit smaller. Right there. And we're going to put him in the bottom left. So this is where it's going to start. So you might be a little confused right now, but let's just get right into it. So when flat clicked, we're going to create another one forever. If we're going to drag in an equal sign game equals to 
game. So right now, when it's set, it's a main menu. So if it's game, I'll tell you what this means later. You're gonna show else hide. So we're gonna make, when this is pressed, I'm gonna go into events, when the spread is clicked, we're gonna set game to game, okay? And then with this guy, we're gonna do flag clicked forever if else equals I'm gonna drag in that game variable again um and we're gonna say main menu it equals main menu show else hide so the black bars aren't gonna work yet because we haven't programmed that and the portal isn't gonna work but let's just see how this works okay so it's gonna go to play oops oh no we don't want to be when it's when the spread is clicked we want to do sorry about that Forever. Okay. Well clicked. Touching the maze dude. That's right one. Um, it's set game to game. So now it should work. Like that. And then you're gonna go like that. Like this. And then we haven't coded this yet, but we will. So while we're at it, I just realized we're just gonna do go into this. And we're gonna go say go to front because the main character and you can just drag them into the forever There's no point in making another one it Still work except now it's in front So when you touch the portal, it's in front All right guys, um now this is gonna be the last part before I end this episode This part of the series so we're gonna do in flag collect forever if I'm Dragging or touching Actually, yeah touching color Black. Oh, that uh, is gonna be fun. So just gonna drag on black. Then you can just. Uh, oh no, you want to set the game to main menu. So basically, when you touch the black, you die. You have to restart. So it's not gonna restart you in the level. It's gonna restart you the whole entire game, which sucks. But yeah, so let's go ahead and try this. Touch black, dead. Okay, why is this play not hiding? If game equals main menu, show else hide. Yeah, okay. That works. And then let's say you mess up right here. Whoops, takes you back here. That's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for the next episode that will be coming out shortly. And yeah, subscribe. Thank you.